Ah, the Velos Islands. Two sides of the same coin. Velos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo. And Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Delos. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis, cruel leader of Delos Islands, takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His... Insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. We arrived just in time to help. You see, Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressive. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Potarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Botharki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... Nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend. We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north. Until one day, they sent two maidens and five of their men to Vilos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said. <clears throat> Eagle bearing mist. The short version, please. Podarkis, cruel leader, thirst for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any... immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha-ha! <laughs> Here, Cassandra! Here, Varnavas. Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? to help a fierce group of rebels, but I show up and you're all drunk. 
Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Vilos was the heart of the Thelian League. Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Vilos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarchis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Thaletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos, not long before you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Thaletas needs our help now, though he never admitted... Sounds Spartan, all right.
Captain. You fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you. But you're a general. To those men now, you need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight! And we will. But right now, we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Then let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Villians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. My whole life. Podarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day... I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. 
Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. If I go out any farther, I'll capsize. Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarkis' weapons and supplies. Break their supplies, break their will. Vargas's troops will be helpless. destroy these without attracting attention. Who knew rebelling was this much fun? That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this.
And? Is it done? Well, Varkis' guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is, I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I know you've struggled to get where you are. You've had to fight and claw for everything you have. I know, because I've done the same. We're survivors. I'm glad the gods brought you to our source, Cassandra. Some time alone would be nice. You must have many tales. It's time we got going. When Podarkis learns of what happened on Dilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Here. The Athenians are weak. Now we strike Podarkis where he'll hurt most. His kidneys? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Kira. Since you came here, I've actually started to believe we can win this rebellion. So, you were saying we strike? Guards protect the island's treasury in one location. If we find it and steal it, the soldiers go unpaid, unfed, and unarmed. Podarkis will finally be vulnerable. Then, we can stick our blades in between his ribs, feed his liver to the dogs. Before we start feeding organs to animals, can you get me to the nation's purse? Our spies have located it in Miltiadis' fort. I'll have Praxos gather the troops. It's best if it's just the two of us. Easier to sneak in and out undetected. You just want me all to yourself, don't you? Hm. Let's get going, then. Victory is close. I can feel it. We haven't won yet. The fort will be treacherous, and the gods can be fickle. It was the gods who sent you to me. I refuse to believe they'd send you here to die. So what do you think of our islands? I think I prefer Mykonos. I really don't like you shedding blood on Delos. <laughs> the priests are so terrified of desecrating the sacred grounds of Apollo. Women about to give birth are sipped over to Mykonos. What happens if they don't make... the babies.
I need to be careful. Fort has seen better days. They should have spent some of that silver on upkeep.
Kira's going to want to see this. Cassandra, there you are. Good news, I hope. When the people of Dilos discover Podarkis lost every coin of their nation's treasure, they're going to rip him to pieces. You've weakened Athens' grip over Dilos, exposed Podarkis, and made way for a Spartan alliance. I could kiss you. I don't see anything holding you back. You breathe life into me. If only you'd arrived on Vilos before Thaletas. These are dangerous times. I'd hate to meet Hades without having tasted those lips. <laughs> Very poetic for someone covered in blood. I like it. Do you even recognize me in the underworld? I wonder. We should probably move. They're going to come looking for us. I don't think I've ever really said thank you for coming here. You've given us hope. I'll go back to the hideout. But if you keep this up, Podarkis is as good as dead. I may finally know peace. Oh! 
I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I'm in. Where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks. Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I've seen you hunt. You don't need my help. Oh, I bet you capture any prey you lock those sharp eyes with. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. This is the spot down here where I used to as a young girl. It was hunt or starve in those days. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've gone. How far we've come. Show me how you use that bow. Stop running! Get it down! There's no Ibexes here. Huh? 
This was a great idea. I'm glad you invited me. I'm glad you accepted. I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Don't make him jealous. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. The hunt clears my mind, to reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'd be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. Billions have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to your people. These islands deserve peace. So you're skilled with a bow. Among other things. And what about you? When this is all done, we could always use another set of capable hands. My journey isn't over yet. But I may settle down someday. You can do many things, Mistyos, but settle down? I'm not so sure. Another challenge? Stop looking to the future to be happy when true happiness is right in front of you. You taught me that. So the pirate has one blade at my throat, and one at my stomach, and he says... How do you want to die, Mistyos? Fast or slow? My gods! What did you do? He was so focused on me, he never noticed my spear in his leg. He was dead before he knew what happened. His leg? A little trick my mother taught me. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles, even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Cassandra. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you. Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> and you're my favorite, Mistyos. <sighs> Thaletas should know about this. He will, in time. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. 
But uh, first, 